moment, I'm going to have you uh, to do the opening prayer. And then uh, Brother John Ivey is going to do Article 41, Section 2. Okay. All right? Get ready right to start at just a moment. All right. All right. Man. Okay, Sister Sharon. Yes. Will you go ahead and do the opening prayer, please? I sure will. Thank you. Oh, dear Heavenly Father in heaven, dear Lord God, we give you all the praise and all the glory, dear Lord God. We thank you for this day, dear Lord God, but this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Dear Lord God, we pray for each and every uh, chaplain that's on this line and the ones, Lord God, on their way, the ones that may be working, Lord God. Lord God, just cover us with your precious blood. For in your blood, there's power. For your blood, there's peace. For your blood, there's healing. And Lord God, we thank you for each and every official, dear Lord God, from, from the UAW International, Lord God, to all the local unions. Lord God, we pray for each and every one, dear Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, as we go into this meeting, Lord God, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit will guide us and lead us and teach us. And, and Lord God, that we'll be as one in one agreement on Heavenly Father. Lord God, we just love you, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for all the ones that are in need of prayer for any kind of type of illness, dear Lord God. Touch them, strengthen them, Lord God. Pray for the families, Heavenly Father. Lord God, we just love you, Lord God. And we thank you for this day, Lord God. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Sharon. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Sister Sharon, is Jeff Hunter your your uh, president? I know you're retiree, but is that he your president? Who now? Jeff Who? Hunter. That was just on. Is he your president? No, no. Okay. All right. All right. At this time, we will have Brother John Ivey, who is the co-chair of uh, Local 2250 Chaplaincy Committee. He's going to read Article 41, Section 2. Uh, Brother Ivey. Good morning, chaplains. I will be reading for your hearing Article 41, Section 2, and it reads as follows. It shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in cases of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit her or himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. Amen. Thank you, Brother John. And uh, Brother Bill Eady, I don't see you. Are you on? Okay, Brother Bill. We'll, we'll uh, get Brother Bill later. Jerry Carson, I know you're on. I can see you. Go ahead. Thank you, Thank you Marshall. Hello, chaplains. Want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and within four of your families. Being the salt and light, meeting people where they are, and sharing the good news. It, it just want to ask you to continue to to keep those that are on layoff our striking workers that are out on the picket line and the surrounding communities because you know whenever our people are laid off from our facilities it affects the whole community it actually affects the country so just asking for your continued prayers and in that like God does, and he does best. Whenever man's done all he can, we turn it over to God, and then God shows up and shows out. He's always there with us. He's always right beside us, and he's going to He's gonna bring us through these these challenges, too. Yeah. Um, all right, today is a scripture shower, and 
one thing I want to give you my scripture. It's, it comes from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. And that comes from Ephesians 6, verse 11. And I want to, I want to tell you all, those that have, have served our veterans, I want to wish you all uh, a, a blessed Veterans Day as our country recognizes you and we recognize you for your service. Uh, tomorrow on November 11th, we're going to be honoring our veterans and we and we honor them every day, but uh, our whole country will be. And, and Brother Ivy, I like seeing your hat, iron sharpens iron, because that's exactly what we do. Praise God. I love you, Brother Jerry. Love all love you. Chap love you too. All love right. you, chaplains. I'll turn it back over to Marshall. All right. And Brother Jerry, just to let you know, this is not the truth. Uh, because you're by the window, it has you uh, darkened. And we know you're in the light, <laughs> so we would like for you, if you can, be in the light because that's not the true representation of you. He's All there, right. He's bright, he's now there you're brightening you it up. Yeah, he's there you go. Now that's Jerry in the light. <laughs> Very good. And also, if we have any Marines on right now, because today is the Marines' birthday. Uh, if anyone, we'd like to salute you. Ooh, Marines, right. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, but today is the Marines birthday i believe was started in 1775 november 10th so uh, right. correct me if i'm wrong uh You're right and along those lines we have a special <laughs> tribute uh to the to the veterans a poem from our dear lovely sister sister cynthia harris local 218 international chaplaincy committee sister cynthia would you please go ahead and share the god gifted blessing you have for us Thank you, Brother Marshall. Uh, good morning to all the chaplains, uh, Brother Carson and Brother Edie and Brother Herb in their absence. Uh, this poem is entitled Veterans Day 2021. V is for victorious, you are, we salute you. Thank you for protection and all that you do. E is for eternally grateful for you taking a stand, sacrificing your lives again and again. T is for temperament, to endure this thing we call life, yet you protect us all, be it husband or wife. E is for excellence, you show each time you get dressed. You ensure our safety with no room to guess. R is for running into danger, many we never see. You made this world better, better for me. A is for always in my prayers, May God bless you. Thank you for your service. There is no me without you. And is never forget, I don't know your pain, but without each of you, there would be no gain. S is for struggling for words other than thank you. There are no words to express all that you do. To those who lost their lives, both present and long ago, you are our champions, our protectors, and our hero. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Give Amen. Sister Amen. Cynthia a big God Amen. bless you. God bless. Everybody doesn't have that gift. Uh, there, are, there are maybe many poets within the UAW, but Sister Cynthia stands in the office as a UAW poet, okay, who uh, has written poetry and uh Brandon, that's truly a blessing that you, you're right here in the midst of us as well. And I uh, see Brother Phil, has, Jackson has joined us. He made it all the way to Black Lake to be with us. That's all right, Brother Phil. All right. So, but uh, Brother Bill, let me check real quick. Is Brother Bill on? Brother Jerry, you know will, if Brother Bill will be joining us? Um. I know I'm going to I'm going to send him a, a text, but, uh, you know, he works in a different location than me now. So honestly, we don't get to converse as often as I'd like to. I miss gotcha. him, too. But gotcha. uh, I'm going to send him a text and he if he can break away from whatever they got him tied up in, he will be with and we, join us. We know where his heart is. And as as Brother Jerry has uh, said and demonstrated uh, this is scripture shower. 
uh, uh, before yeah, going further. Yeah, observation. Uh, uh, someone has an open yes. mic. We have an open mic. We have some ladies talking. All right, I just bro. muted it. Thank you, Brother Jerry, for taking care of that. And I want to say this for the record. When we say that we're recording, know that it's, you're being recorded visually as well as audibly. And people will see this on YouTube as well as the UAW website. So keep in mind, we are recording. We are recording you visually as well as audibly, okay? So it's both. So conduct yourself, uh, your video. You know, Robert, Robert would usually share this, your video and audio uh, 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 um, etiquacies, okay? All right, so again, this is Scripture Shower, and I will... Um, start off with the explanation which uh how god led our chairman elder herb the scripture shower comes from ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 which reads as following and i will make them and places around about my hill a blessing and i will cause the shower to come down and down in its season and there shall be showers of blessings so that's where the scripture shower comes from ezekiel 34 verse 26. so how we do the scripture shower because we may have some new people um is that we'll go by region today and if you are a new person please let us know and if you're unprepared to read a scripture uh please still introduce yourself and uh so we could get acquainted with you all right so when we do the scripture shower, you will make sure you say your scripture twice, because believe it or not, some of us are very interested in what the words of God are being shared. And so as well as say your name first and last, and as well as your local and who you work for, or if you and if you're active or retiree, active or retiree, okay? And so again, if you're a first time caller, we'll be glad to help you. If you don't know your region, and if you also uh, don't know your local, we'll help you there too. And if by chance you got missed when your region was called at the end, we will come back to you. So beginning with region one, region one, scripture shower. Region Geneva one. Merce, lo local 961, FCA retiree. My scripture is, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Matthew 6 and 33. Ian Gita, Amen. local 212, region one, active. My uh, Bible verse for this morning, this afternoon, is Ezekiel 36 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Amen. Amen. And someone still has an open mic out there. All right. And also as a courtesy, if two people speak up at the same time, please, gentlemen, if it's a lady, please allow the lady to go first, okay? All right, anyone else from Region 1? Region 1 Scripture Shower. Region 1A, Region 1A, Scripture Shop. Pauline Rose. Good morning, Pauline Rose, Local 889, Fiat Chrysler. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the land is Chrysler. All right. Uh, retiree, my scripture would be coming from Psalms 134. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord which by night stands in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord that made the heavens and the earth, lest the I desire. That's Psalms 30, 134, 1 through 3. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Sister Paulina. And, pa and Paulina, is, Sister Rose is in Region 1, so is there yes. anyone else from Region 1? Okay, Region 1A. Region 1A, please. 
Shirley Davenport, Local 163, Daimler Active. I will read Psalm 34, verses 1 through 3. I will bless the Lord at all times, that his praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Again, I read Psalm 34, verses 1 through 3. Thank you. Amen. Anyone else? Read your 1A. Lisa Duke, Lisa Duke, Lisa Duke, Lisa Duke, Lisa Duke, Lisa Duke, Ford Motor Company, Active. My scripture is coming out of Romans 8.37. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Again, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 837. Amen. Douglas Willard, local 898, retiree, Ford Motor Company, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 7 through 9. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Second Corinthians chapter four, seven through nine. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Second Corinthians chapter four, seven through nine. Amen. Philip Jackson, local 900, Ford Motor Company, actively retired. <laughs> uh, God bless you, chaplain. Psalms 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastors. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Psalms 100. Y'all be have a blessed day on today. God bless. Amen. God bless. Amen. Is there anyone else from Region 1A? Right, Region 1D, Region 1D. Sharon Burnett, region. Local, Sharon Burnett, Local 651, DM Retiree. Um, reading from 2 Chronicles 714. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. And again, the Second Chronicles, seven fourteen. Yeah. Regina, okay. Regina Hill, local five nine eight, GM active. I'm reading Second Corinthians ten, uh, 13, uh, 10 verses three to five. For they, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. 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 Is there anyone else from Region 1D? Ken, Ken, you Eugene Murchison. Go ahead, Eugene. Go ahead. Eugene Murchison, Local 602, GM Active, James, first chapter, two through four. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into dire temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and, and entire, wanting nothing. Once again, James, 
verse chapter two through four. Amen. Thank you. Ken Kenyon, regional coordinator, local 1002, or Middleville, Michigan, building the hot water heaters of the world. I, my name comes from um, Psalms 40, one and two. I wait patiently for the Lord. He turned his head to me and heard, heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slime pit, out of the muck and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and placed me, uh, and gave me a place to stand. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Be anyone else from Region 1D? All right. Region 2B. Region 2B. David Watson, Local 440, GM Active. Psalm 121, 1 and 2. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Amen. Christy Medley. Oh, oops, sorry. Christy Medley, uh, Jeep Toledo, active, local 12. Psalm 116.2. Because he bends down and listens, I will pray as long as I have breath. Psalm 116.2. Amen. Is there anyone else from Region 2B? All right. Reason well, for. I got start. Will Cook. Go ahead. Will, Will Cook, Kuka Toledo Production Operation, Local 12. My scripture is from Hebrews 1, 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus the founder and the perfecter of our of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of god amen 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 is there anyone else from region 2b will price local 685 kokomo indiana retired after care uh, Chrysler, Convinces Chrysler. The scripture comes to me this morning, uh, the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That's Matthew, uh, fifth chapter and the ninth verse. Amen. Amen. Region 2B, anyone else? All right, Region 4, Region 4 Scripture Shower. Randall Willis, uh, Local 588 for Motor Company, active. My scripture for today is 1 Samuel 30 and 8. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. That's 1 Samuel 30 and 8. Amen. Sandra Watkins, Local 110, Fiat Chrysler, retiree. I am reading for your hearing, Deuteronomy, the 11th chapter, verses 31 and 32. It says, for ye shall pass over Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you and ye shall possess it and dwell therein and ye shall observe to do all the statutes and judgments which i set before you this day and that's deuteronomy 11 verses 31 and 32. amen good morning right. chaplains john ivy jr local 2250 general motors active my scripture this morning comes from Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. God bless you, chaplains. Good morning, Angela King, Amen. local 31 GM. 
my scripture is John 12, 46. That's John 12 and 46. Sorry, I don't have a voice this morning. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believe on me shall not abide in the darkness. Again, that is John 12 and 46. Love you, chaplains. God bless everybody. Amen. Marcia Good morning, Starks. Chaplain. Marcia Starks, Good morning, Chaplain. Local 551, Ford Motor Company, you. Chicago Assembly Good Plant. Morning. My scripture is Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Again, that was Isaiah 9 and 6. Amen. Donna Jones, Local 31, Fairfax, General Motors, Active. My scripture this morning is coming from Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, 28. And it shall come to pass, 28, 1 and 2. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's from Deuteronomy. 28, 1 and 2. God bless you. Amen. Ben Thomas, Local 551, Chicago Assembly Plan. Active. From Joshua, 22nd chapter, verse 5. But take careful heed to do the commandments and the law which Moses, the servant of the Lord God, commanded you. To love the Lord your God to walk in all his ways, to keep his commandments, to hold them fast to him, and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. That was Joshua 22, verse 5. God bless the hearing and the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. David Grimaud, local 2096, uh, Caterpillar, retiree. And the scripture I'm going to read is, Psalms 41, verses 1 through 3. Blessed is the one who considers the poor. In the day of trouble, the Lord delivers him. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive. He is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up to the will of his enemies. The Lord sustains him in, on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. Amen. Amen. All right, is there anyone else from Region 4? Virginia Enlow, Local 31, Fairfax, Kansas, General Motors, Active. My scripture today is from Jeremiah 29th chapter, verses 12 and 13. Then you will call on me and I will pray to you and you will pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. Jeremiah 12 and 13. Amen. Sherry, Hello. active. Sorry. Scripture reading is coming from Matthew 5. And 44, and it says, but I say unto you, again, that's Matthew 5 and 44, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for those, sorry, excuse me, pray for those <clears throat> which despitefully uh, use you and persecute you. Amen. 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 This Sherry is Crystal Gillis. Brown. Go ahead, Chaplain. Go Sherry. Ahead, Crystal Brown, local 2250, 
uh, General Motors active, and my scripture comes from Matthew chapter 6, verse 1, and it reads, Be careful, do not do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. May that be a blessing to the hearer and the reader of the word. Amen. 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 Sherry Gillis, Local 31, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas, active. My scripture reading and my encouragement to each and every one of you comes from Joshua 1 and 9. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is Joshua 1 and 9. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Marsha, Elder Herb, Taylor, Local 31, Region 4. It's good to be on the call. Jesus, well, that is my <laughs> scripture. Hey, God bless you, Marsha. I'll come yes. back toward the end. Okay, I got you. John 11, 35. Still Region 4. I know y'all got shocked and all. That was the voice of the chairman. That's right. All right. Anyone else? Region 4. You're looking good throughout the regions. Region 4. All right. I see it. Region 8 is lined up. Region 8. <laughs> Go right ahead. Sarah Carruthers, General Motors, retiree, local 276. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Do not be anxious about anything. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice in the Lord. Do not be anxious about anything. The Apostle Paul, Philippians 4. Amen. Region 8, ladies. Uh, fellow Cedar. Is it okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, local 862, Ford Motor Company, retiree. Sorry, I've been vacationing a lot, so it's been a while since I've been on, but um, glad to be back. I chose um, a scripture, like, you know, cause of the month of November is having a thankful heart. And I chose devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful in Colossians 4 2. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Cynthia Harris, this is Paul local Nichols. 218. Cynthia Harris, local 218, Bell Helicopter International Staff. And I too, Sister Phil, is uh, coming out of Colossians 3 and 15. And it says, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to thee which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. God bless you. Amen. This is Paul Nichols, local 1895, Ford, retired. My scripture is Colossians 2 and 5. For though I am away from you in body, yet I am with you in spirit, delighted at the sight of your standing shoulder to soldier, shoulder in such orderly array, and the firmness and the solid front and steadfastness of your faith in Christ, that leaning of the entire human personality on him, and absolute trust and confidence in his power, wisdom, and goodness. I can see you all in that standing shoulder to shoulder. Oh, I just thank God for you all. God bless. All right. Can we, can we hold right there, Regents? Uh, our dear assistant program director, Brother Bill Eady, extraordinaire, is with us. Brother Bill Eady, would you go ahead and have words and do your scripture shower and our prayer too? Can't hear you, Brother Bill. Welcome, Chaplains. Once again, it's an honor and a pleasure to be on the call. I've heard such beautiful, beautiful scriptures today. Oh, what a blessing it is to be one in this number. Uh, I'd like to bring you greetings today from President Ray Curry, Vice President Chuck Browning, the entire International Executive Board. I'd also just like to thank you for all that you do, Chaplains. What a wonderful inspiration you are to not only uh, Jerry and myself, but also to the entire UAW uh, 
uh, executive board and membership. Um, I just uh, want to bring the scripture today I, that was on my heart today was uh, Psalms 23. Um, I believe uh, Elder Taylor said to keep it brief, so I'm just going to say that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That's Psalms 23, the first verse. And, uh, and I'd just like to say a quick prayer for the chaplains today, and then I will sign off and continue to listen to, to, to scriptures. Father God, we come to you today as humble as we know how, ever so grateful and for these wonderful chaplains that you have allowed to assemble today. Father, I thank you for allowing me to be one in this number. Father, I thank you for allowing us to send alms up to you today, Father, in the name of the scriptures uh, that are being read today, Father. I just, they're just so inspirational and uplifting to everybody under the sound of the voices that have been heard today, Father. Father, we ask that you continuously bless the families of these chaplains, Father. For these families, allow them to stand in the gap for the entire UAW as they keep the UAW uplifted in prayer. And prayer is, so, is needed so much at this point in time. Father, I just wanted to ask you that you put your loving arms around all the chaplains, keep them from hurt, harm, and danger, and allow them to continue to bless others with a listening ear or whatever is needed at the time. For the chaplains in the UAW meet people for where, the, where they're at, Father. And you know how they, you know what's on their hearts, Father. Father God, we are just so ever thankful and grateful to you. These and other blessings I ask in your almighty son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for Amen. your prayers, Brother Bill. Brother Bill, before you go, would you like to say a word to the veterans? Yes, on this uh, Veterans Day Eve, I just uh, like to tell all the veterans I'm so grateful and so thankful for your service, for you guys protecting us, keeping us safe, and, and allowing us to have the, the rights and the liberties that we so enjoy in this great country of ours. And I just want to say, veterans, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's, there, there's not much else I can say. All right, everybody. Have a blessed day. I love all you chaplains, and I look forward to the rest of these scriptures that I'm about to hear. God Amen. bless you. Love you, Bill. Amen. And uh, thank God for the veterans and this being also Marine's birthday. Some of you all better be glad you weren't called a fight because you can't fight your way out of wet paper bag. So I'm um, glad God called somebody else to do that job. All right. Picking back with Region 8, Region 8, and perhaps the next voice you will hear be the veteran James C. Region 8. Resume. Scripture shower. Region 8, if somebody's talking, we can't hear you. Greg Sandifer, local 1853, Spring Hill, Tennessee, active. My scripture will be coming from Romans 8 and 1. 8, 1, and 2, sorry. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made, made me free from the law of sin and death. Thank you. Amen. Woo. Praise the Lord. Is there anyone else from Region 8? All right. Region nine, region nine, scripture shower. Region nine, a scripture shower. Region nine, a. All right. At this time, if you were weren't unable to do your scripture shower at this time, uh, I know one person is Scott Arrington. Uh, if you are unable to do your scripture shower at this time, would you please kindly do so? Uh, mute yourself to unmute yourself to do it. I was getting it ready before I unmuted myself, Brother Marshall, but I am ready. Uh, Luke 10, verse 21 and 22. It is that that hour Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, 
and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and to no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal. Luke 10, 21 and 22. And tell them what local and company you with, Brother Scott. Scott Arrington, local 2280, Ford Motor Company, active, region one. Very good. Was there anyone else who was missed or unable to get on during the scripture shower at this time? Angela Green. <laughs> Region 1, local 1796, Wayne County Community College District. And my scripture is 1 Corinthians 13 and 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord, Amen. help us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Love. Is, is there anyone else that you weren't able to give you a scripture shower at this time? Cinda Kimbaraska. Daniel Hathaway, Region 4, Local 588, uh, Ford Active. Um, my verse is Hebrews 4.12. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Amen. Amen. All right, Sister Cindy, Cindy Kimbaraskas, go ahead. Yeah, Cindy Kimbaraskas, State of Michigan, Region uh, 6000, uh, 1A, uh, my scripture is Jeremiah 29 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good and not for woe. That's Jeremiah 29 11. But the reason that I waited until the end today is because Amen. I heard of the birthday. And I don't know how I started this or when I started this, but this is how I sing it. <clears throat> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, and many more. You have to end, <laughs> end it with, and many more. <laughs> God bless you all. For the Marines. For the Marines, that's right. Is there anyone else that who was unable or we missed you? for a scripture shower. All right, I know Brother James C was on and I'm pretty sure duty called and pulled him away because other than that, wild horses couldn't. So um, he has an assignment right now. Without or further ado, Elder Herb Taylor, go ahead. Thank you, uh, Brother Marshall. Uh, as always, you do an excellent job. Um, there's many hands but one body, and uh, there's no big person in this chaplaincy program. Uh, God has always been able to sustain whatever we do. Amen. And it is a month of giving thanks. And I want to also recognize all of our pastors today, uh, Pastor Appreciation, uh, that's what I wanted to say. My priority today is uh, these two grandkids of mine, and I wanted to get on and let the chaplain know I love you. Brother Marsha, I heard Pastor John Ivey. If you could help Pastor Ivey get in contact with me, that would be a blessing. Uh, this Friday we will uh, recognize the veterans, and uh, we have a program scheduled. So looking forward to seeing everybody again this Friday. Back to you, Marshall. All right, brother. Thank you for coming. Pause and for the calls. All right. 
Uh, just check, double check. Does it, did anyone um, come on that we missed? All right. Yeah, Brother Marshall. Brother James, James. thank you, brother, for not leaving us out. Go right ahead. Yes. James C. Local 862, uh, Ford Motor Company, active. My scripture come from Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Uh, it talks about dedicated service. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies, dedicating all of yourselves, set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational act of worship. Uh, that is true worship, brothers and sisters. Amen. Romans chapter 12, verse, verse 1. God bless. Amen. Don't go too far. Amen. Amen. Don't go too far. Uh, at this time, we're going to have a veterans roll call. Um, veterans, please state yourself. Name, rank, and serial number. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant James C. United States Marine Corps, 1977, 1973 to 77. Simplify. Simplify. Amen. <laughs> and happy birthday to you, Marine. Uh, thank you. Happy birthday. Uh, Hurrah. My next birthday is the 11th also. <laughs> is that right? Uh -huh. Wow, you got a double hell. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, praise the Lord. You was born a Marine, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Boots on. Boots on. Love you, brother James. All right. Other veterans. Got any other veterans out there? Corporal Scott Arrington, U.S. Army, from uh, 1988 to 1991. Amen. Right, brother Scott. All right, brother Scott. Amen. Don't be shy, veterans. Anyone else? Randall Willis from uh, U.S. Navy, 1989 to 1989. I, I just got out of boot camp and got out. <laughs> I don't know if that's out. <laughs> Praise <Hey>. God. <laughs> that's, that's good. Baby. That's good, hey, brother. Hey, that I'm, good. You, you hey, I'm not a quitter. I'm, I'm not a quitter no more. I was a quitter then. Amen. Amen. I got out. Hallelujah. Anyhow, brother. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Any other in and outs like the restaurant veterans? <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Anthony Walker uh, served from 1990 to 1998, UAW Local 31. Very good. Brother Amen, Walker. Brother Anthony Walker, EAP well. Amen. Amen. What, what was that year again, Brother Walker? What year you served? 1990 to 1998. All right. All right. Very Amen. good. Very good. Two day vacation in yeah. General Motors, February of 1998. Wow. Oh, praise the Lord. Brother oh, Marsh. I love you, Brother Anthony. Brother Go ahead, Marsh. Brother Hurt. Marsh. Yeah, I love you. Brother Go ahead. Marsh. Go ahead. We recognize all the veterans. We really do. But Anthony Walker is a friend of mine. And uh, I wanted to just let Anthony know what you do for chaplaincy is what God is trying to take us to. And we recognize and we honor all the veterans on this day. We salute you, brothers, because your work, not only as a EAP rep, but as a member of this union, I want to say this to everybody. If there is a person that exemplifies what the UAW means today, it's this brother here. Amen. We are at a point Amen. in... A.W. history, where the naysayers are coming out like bugs when you turn the light on. They are crucifying mm -hmm. the officers. They are doing things that they've been doing all along, but right now they got a free and And it's just like in the beginning of time and throughout the Bible, wrong always get together to attack right. They can hate each other, but they will get together and fight for what is right. And our UAW leadership need our prayers. We understand the referendum 
is there. But I, sub, sub, I applaud you, Anthony, because throughout the years, I never once heard any negative from you. And Brother, heard about all the all, like Brother John Ivey, uh, James C., Scott Errington, Sister Connie Bobby, those that I know that work and, 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 and served in this military we do salute you. Thank you, Marshall, for bringing that up to front. I thank my two grandkids for being quiet enough to recognize Anthony Walker, Local 31, um, one of our veterans. And I want everybody to keep Sister Joy Augustine in, in our prayers. She was a member of chaplaincy. She was a member of the community, uh, the veteran committee, but because of the backlash, people talking behind her back, she, 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 she resigned, Anthony, and we wow. got a, a, a person out there that was willing to serve, but because of evil-minded people, and I'm going to call the spade the spade. Yeah. No, she wasn't a veteran. Yes, she supported the UAW Veteran Committee. She supported the UAW Chaplaincy Committee. And she would always, Jerry Carson, Bill Eady would say the same. We don't go by titles. George, yes. you will always be a chaplain because of Article Amen. 41, Section 2. Thank you, Brother Marshall, for this space. Once again, thank the grandkids for being quiet enough for me to say what was on my mind. Thank you, Brother Anthony. God bless. Thank, thank you all. Thank you, Brother Herb. I humbly accept that. And we all must understand that every time that we, we all serve. There's some men that serve on the Women's Committee, but they ain't women. So people that serve on the Veterans Committee don't always have to be veterans. We all, as the UAW, must stay together. And Elder Herb, I just humbly, humbly thank you for that. And I thank all you veterans, and I love you chaplains, because at the end of the day, this is the backbone of the UAW, praying for individuals that don't even know they've been prayed for. And at the end of the day, I just humbly thank you, and I thank you, and I thank you. Thank you. Amen. We love Brother you back, Marshall, brother. Can I say love something? you, Brother Anthony. Brother Anthony, we're going to get that phone call that you and I are supposed to do out the way, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Brother all right. Marshall. All right. Now, you all heard the request to pray for Sister Joy. Will someone from Local 31 please pray for Sister Joy, please? No, no, Marshall. No, no. No, no. Okay. No, All right, no, no, no. just we keep it on. keep it in mind. Yeah, we moved okay. on. Thank you. You're welcome. You got it, Brother Marshall. Yes, Sister Cynthia. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, I like to read this scripture, uh, Ephesians six and twelve. It says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual yes. wickedness in high places." God bless you all. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 We don't turn on one another. We know what the word says. We're, we're the, Satan has to use somebody and usually good people. So we have to keep that scripture in mind. Thank you, Sister Harris. Amen. Amen, Amen Brother Paul. All right. Brother Bill. And uh, Brother Jerry, any closing comments? Yeah, I want to say a couple. Just wanted, just like we've been, we are honoring our veterans and their families because they have sacrificed a lot. That's the reason why God, God has allowed our country to be reaching out to other borders and protecting this country and and protecting others whenever in our veterans are the ones that that, that that go out in the field and protect us we are we are free from tyranny we are free from those that would like to attack us inward and outward because we have those that have chosen to serve in our armed forces and 
anyone in uniform, but I mean, the ones that leave our country and go to uh, foreign lands on behalf of to make sure that our country is is protected and others are protected. Wow, that just honestly, uh, that is, that, that's the ultimate service to our country and we and, and we recognize you we honor you i want to say a prayer to and and then i'm going to turn it back over to you marshall dear heavenly father thank you father for this day and we want to praise you we want to honor you father we pray to you father that you will give us a heart after yours that, that we will run this race with purpose and staying focused on you, Father. And, and Jesus said, you'll know his disciples by the love they have for one another. So it's about loving. And, and whenever any kind of hurt, harm is happening, we are to stand in the gap. But the way we fight, we're, we're supposed to be kind and loving. But we got to be firm in, in your word tells us to be as harmless as a dove, but as wise as serpents. And, and you have taught us everything, Jesus. And, and, and God, you have delivered your word to us. And we pray that each one that's on this WebEx and in conference call and that hears the, these meetings that we put out through uh, our UAW.org on our Chapsy webpage and other social medias, YouTube, so on and so forth, that this, just like you said, your word does not return void. And we pray you, Father, that everything we do brings you honor. And we thank you, Father, for watching over our veterans. When it, we pray to you, Father, for all of them to return home safely. We pray to you, Father, for any of them that are injured, that they have a quick recovery emotionally, physically, and spiritually, Father. We ask you, we know you love us so. We just thank you for your protection. And any of them that do transition, that they transition safely to your loving arms, Father. We pray to you, Father, that this chaplaincy, becomes everything that, that you created it to be in each one of us that are serving you, Father. You're an awesome God. We love you, Father. We pray to you, Father, that anything that's not of you, you will take out of our flesh, take away from us, in, in, so that we can be all that you created each one of us to be. And we love you, Father. We pray to you, Father, in solidarity 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 amen 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 brother bill amen. I to say a wonderful 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 prayer so so much needed at this point in time uh, i don't have uh anything else to say but everybody be blessed and i look forward to uh seeing everybody's face on Friday as we celebrate the veterans during the veterans uh, program that we're going to have. God bless everybody. Amen. Look forward to seeing you later this week. Amen. Thank you, Brother Bill, Brother Jerry. Sister Sandra Watkins, may we have amazing graces this time, please. Amazing grace the sound that saved a red love me
I see to a grave that taught my heart to fear and gray my fear How precious, dear, that grave appear. The hour I be, believe, pray God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. Friday. Have a blessed day with soldiers yes. in the Christian army. Amen. Through to his amazing Amen. grace. Everyone have Amen. a blessed Amen. and glorious Amen. day. And we will okay. see you, the Lord say the same on Friday. That's the day after Thursday. Okay. All right. Amen. <laughs> Amen.